you tell us about where did you grow up? I grew up in Bensdale, which is about four hours east of Melbourne. How was the transition like, going from there to the city to the Melbourne? Did you face any difficulties? At the start it was a little bit tricky, but now it sort of feels like home. So mm -hmm. is that sort of the similar experience to you guys? It was honestly one of the greatest experiences so far in my life. Melbourne is great. I love the trams, I love the dogs, everything here. It's no wonder it's one of the most livable cities here. So your favourite place in Melbourne? I do love coming into Flinders Street Station. There's always something happening there. There's a little hat store just at the bottom of the station, mm -hmm. which I always find myself in. Where have you played uh, cricket outside Australia? I think India stands out for me the most because that's where I made my debut for Australia. We spent four weeks over there and for me that was the best months of my life. So, And I suppose playing for Australia now, yeah, we've got a World Cup coming up which is really exciting and it's in Australia and hopefully we can get 90 plus thousand people to a final at the MCG. And how the things have changed in the past five years you've been playing women's cricket. Things have just gone in leaps and bounds in the last five years and seeing little boys and girls in the crowd just enjoying good cricket, you know, that's the most rewarding part for us as players. In the end, that's why we play. Are you guys excited for the Women's World Cup coming up? Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you playing there. <laughs>